Hey folks, so in my previous videos I showed you the essential modules to start making a sound with your Eurorack setup, the VCO, the oscillator, the filter, the envelope generator and the VCA. And now it's time to start making music with them. This video is sponsored by PCBWay. No, oh, come on, no, let no, me no, do no, it, no. come on. Anyway, this is just ridiculous. I hate you. PCBWay offers PCB manufacturing services, of course, along with part assembly, but they also offer a number of other fantastic services like CNC, metal sheet fabrication, 3D printing, and even injection molding. Essentially, a one-stop service for all your projects. So go to PCBWay.com, upload your project files, and get an instant quote, and thank you to them for, out. for sponsoring this video. Now, let's just say you have a few oscillators, you made a bass sound, a lead sound, and you got an envelope and a filter to create a kick sound, and you want to combine these together and start creating music and having a performance with them. Or you have two or three VCOs and you want to start fleshing a more interesting sound with those VCOs. What you need is a mixer. You need to mix those sounds together. Now using a traditional desk mixer is an option, but it's probably way overkill and they take a lot of space. Another option is to have your mixer straight into your Eurorack case. And this is exactly what this is. It's a four channel summing mixer. You've volume pots for each channels, an output, and you've switches here so you can uh, start doing arrangements in live performance, bringing tracks in or out. This is my usual single board uh, design with all components visible. To put this together, you need five jack connectors, you need four pots of 10K, and you'll need the Eurorack uh, power connector. So let's put one together. First, we're gonna start with the IDC connector at the back. Uh, so you'll see there's a, a little notch here and the best way to align it is to actually uh, align it with the notch facing down and then just flip this over like this. If you're in any doubt, um, again, pin one is marked right here and pin one is always uh, to the, uh, the left of this notch. So put it like that. And now uh, it's facing the right way. So we're gonna solder that. All right, that's that in place. Next, we're gonna solder these um, uh, jack connectors. We need five of them. They should slot in nicely. The reason we're doing these in this order is that the, these are the lowest um, profile between the uh, pots and the jack. So it'll make it easier to, uh, to flip the board over and solder stuff together. You'll also see here that you've got um, pads uh, just for um, providing a little bit of a, of a the stronger uh, bond to the board. And also just make sure that these two here don't bridge. Um, uh, one of them is ground, the other one is the ring. Uh, normally on this isn't connected, but um, it, it doesn't hurt. Just make sure that these two don't really uh, bridge at all. All right, so these are now in place. And next we're gonna put those four 100K pots uh, in place. One thing you want to do is, uh, I have big pads here, but what you can do is actually bend those legs um, just to make sure that they actually clamp just over the pads. And that way uh, they'll be nicely bonded to the uh, to uh, to the board and the pads. Those pads here are not really connected to anything. So um, it's just to provide some mechanical key and a bit of structure and strength uh, to the uh, pots. So we're going to do that to each one and then solder that. And there you go. I'm going to clean this a little bit and then let's make some sounds.
there you go folks, the last unit we need to start arranging music with your Eurac rig. You can find these on my Etsy shop as usual, and as usual you'll need to source the jack pots and power connector yourselves. I will leave the links to where you can find these online in the Etsy description and on the video description of course. Anyway folks, thanks for the support with these and thanks for letting me know that you have had them running. It's been great to actually know people are making music with stuff you've created, so it's it's it's, it's been fantastic. Uh, if you have made some music or a video or even have a few photos of them in your rig, do send them over. I, um, I, I'll put them up in the video uh, for the next time. Uh, but anyway folks, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.